My name is uh, James E. Livingston. I'm a retired Major General from the United States Marine Corps and I spent 34 years in the Corps from uh, 1961 to 1995. I'll tell you what, when I got off the airplane in Tokyo and just the thoughts of going, coming from Tokyo, coming back down to Yokosuka and just realizing in 1963 as a young second lieutenant, you know, my first experience in the Emporium was coming into this port aboard an old uh, ship that just carried troops back during that uh, part of the war, getting ready for Vietnam. And having that experience and remembering those memories, and as we pulled up and pulled into the harbor, and uh, as we got here, how well people received us. And uh, this memory really come into a greater focus here and how well we've been received since we've been here. The people have just been wonderful. All the people aboard the base, all the people supporting us. Uh, everything about this event and this tri trip has been just well done, well organized, and we, uh, like I say, it just, just brought back some really great memories. I tell you, uh, returning to Japan has just been an absolute thrill. And I recall my first experiences in the Orient in 1963 were here in Japan. I had a chance to come back, uh, come back and sort of replay my old uh, times in Japan years ago. But uh, when we uh, landed on the ground in uh, Tokyo a couple of days ago and then on the way to Yokosuka, I just recall the first experience we had in the port. Came in the Yokosuka port in 1963 well received by the people, met a lot of great Japanese people, had a good time out in the local village here and those memories all really come back to life and it's just like I say, it's just an absolute thrill to come back and be with the Japanese people and most of all be with the servicemen and their families and just have this experience with them and a chance to interact and just uh, sort of remember those, uh, those great times as a young Marine Lieutenant. Well, the service is as far as a Medal of Honor recipient. I think the thing that's really we need to emphasize uh, is being a recipient of the Medal of Honor is the fact you wear the award for all those young Marines and sailors who did not uh, come home, who never had a chance to be fathers and grandfathers. And I think the thing you want to do as a Medal of Honor recipient is remember your responsibility to them and your responsibility to those you led during your time in service and you really want to set a good example for them and always sort of enter every chance you get like this visit, interact with the people and just have a chance to sort of share with them those great memories you had in uniform when you were wearing the cloth of the nation. So I think being a Medal of Honor recipient is a responsibility that you look at and you really I think that's a very high responsibility because you never want to let people down that serve with you. And when you became the recipient, this medal, you know, you every time you look at it, you remember all those young Marines and sailors that died in Vietnam years ago. Blue Ridge goes back to 1974 and 75 with me, and they were the uh, command ship, what is called Task Force 79, the Navy Command, and the Marine Command, I'm sorry, the Task Force 76, the Navy Command, and the Marine Command, and our component aboard was Task Force 79 in Washington, so we were, because we were not properly logistically supporting the Vietnamese, and they were falling because of the pressure being exerted by North Vietnam. We knew the end was near, and uh, they uh, sent me down to join the Blue Ridge to help plan for the evacuation of Cambodia, and also the evacuation of uh, Vietnam. And I spent about four months aboard, aboard the Blue Ridge, and it was, uh, a very difficult time for me because I remembered all the Marines had been lost under my command in 67, 68. So from the Blue Ridge, that was a platform in which we coordinated the evacuation of Phnom Penh, Cambodia, uh, the RV in a vac, which was pulling people out of Vietnam and putting them aboard ships to bring them out of Vietnam. And also ultimately, I was handed the execute message for the evacuation of Saigon and really all of Vietnam. And all that was coordinated from the Vietnam, uh, from the Blue Ridge, and uh, to conclude our operations in Vietnam. And it was a, an exceptional operation. Uh, the Marines and all the people involved in it did an exceptional job, very professional job, but it was a sad day 
to think about, we'd lost 68,000 plus servicemen. And uh, that sort of was a, a bad taste in my mind. But I tell you, I always applauded the Marines and sailors who executed that mas mission just superbly. And that was my uh, experience aboard the Blue Ridge. And it was just sort of a memory lane walk when I went aboard yesterday after all those years.